What's up everybody? We are back with another video and uh, today we are going to do something different. As you can see, I have a lot of diecast models here on my desk and you know sometimes when you are unboxing your diecast models you might think okay this model feels really heavy or this thing feels pretty light but you don't know the exact weight until today because we are going to find out which model weighs how much. As you can see, I uh, brought our trusty kitchen scales. And, you know, of course, this is not representative. This is kind of YouTube science, but I think it's uh, kind of funny and interesting to do this. And I tried to bring a huge variety of models so you can't see everything that's here on the desk. We got some green light models, Mini GT, Major Red, Siku, and of course, Hot Wheels and uh, Matchbox. And Matchbox is the brand we are going to start with. As you can see, I got some main lines uh, right here. And before we get started, I mean, you know, the weight of a diecast model doesn't say anything about the general quality. But, you know, um, if a model has a certain weight to it, you know, if it's got a metal body and a metal base, and rubber tires, it feels a little better. And, uh, yeah, that's the thing. And with that said, was a lot of talking. We get started in our first Contestant here is uh, the 1985 Porsche 911 in the 70 years anniversary deco. This is the rally version for sure with the roof rack. And as you can see, 32 grams. But, uh, you know, there are different, let's say, kind of main lines. Uh, most of them have a metal body and a plastic base. But um, this ice cream van here, for example, has a plastic body and a metal base. And as you can see, the ice cream van weighs 30 grams. A little bit lighter than the Porsche. As we go on with uh, this guy here, which is the F150. Okay, this thing is pretty heavy. 38 grams. Heaviest so far. We go on with this thing, which is the 69 Camaro SS, 32 grams. Now, a very small model, the, I think it's a Subaru Samba, I think it is called, 25 grams, the lightest so far. We go on with this snowmobile thing here. 41 grams. Next one up is uh, this core wet. 38. The express delivery in FedEx Deco weighs 36 grams. This is the Dune Dog, I think. Yes. 32 grams. Jeep uh, Gladiator, 35 grams. And the Matchbox Backhoe, 22 grams. So uh, I think um, this one is the lightest. The Subaru was 25 or 26 grams. So the Backhoe, the lightest so far. And I think this one was. No, this guy was the heaviest. Yeah. So let's put um, our Matchbox models to the side. And yeah, I think we go on with some uh, Hot Wheels mainline models. So let's um, start with the Mad Manga. 36 uh, grams. 
And then we do have the Mad Mike Drift Attack. 29 grams. Volkswagen T2 Pickup. 34 grams. That's the AutoZone in uh, this monster truck star, 35 grams. The Ain't Fair, I think this is the regular treasure hunt from the A or B case of 2024, 35 grams. Get some more here in the back. Uh, Honda Civic, 37. Jeep FC, 37. El Segundo Coupe, 31. And the Nissan Skyline, 29. Oh, we forgot this guy here, the Mighty K. 32 grams. Then, I think it's the last main line here on my desk from Hot Wheels, the 94 Toyota Supra, 31 grams. And I forgot one Matchbox model, the SpaceX. And as you can see, this thing is um, pretty heavy, 45 grams. So let's put our Hot Wheels main lines to the side. And um, let's go on with some uh, Hot Wheels premium models, I would say. So let's start with this guy here from uh, the J Leno Diorama set, Ford Chevy GT. Of course, if you are a diecast die collector, you know that um, these Hot Wheels premium models come with a metal body, metal base and rubber tires. And as you can see, 54 grams. Another Hot Wheels premium model is this um, beautiful Van from this Disney movie I can't uh, pronounce and even heavier, 72 grams. Then uh, we got this um, 87 Toyota pickup, 68 grams. And this Audi R8 LMS. Oh, pretty light for a uh, Premium model, 46 grams. But we do have um, another model from uh, J. Leno's uh, Garage Diorama set. It's uh, called the Das Blaue Wunder, the 1955 Mercedes Benz, this uh, racing transporter. And this thing is pretty heavy, 85 grams. But we will see if we do have some models that um, weigh more than uh, 100 grams. And I would say we go on with a mini GT. So um, let's get started with a Porsche. Uh, by the way, for all of you that don't know, a mini GT is a premium diecast brand. And these models also come with a metal body, metal base and rubber tires and a lot of details. But as you can see, this thing is pretty light, 41 grams. Our Nissan Skyline, 41 grams also. A very small one, the MX-5 Mazda Miata, oh, 35 grams. So, uh, like a Hot Wheels or a Matchbox mainline model. This Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster, 47 grams. And now it's getting interesting. Uh, 
We got this uh, Formula One racing models, the famous six wheeler from Tyrell. And this thing is extremely light, um, or it feels extremely light. As you can see, it is really light 17 grams. So I think it's the lightest model that we got so far. Lighter than the Subaru Sambar and uh, what was the other one? The Matchbox Backhoe. Uh, we got uh, one more Mini GT model, this Range Rover with a roof rack. This is a little bit heavier, 52 grams. Put our Matchbox models to the side. And let's go on with some. Uh, Major red models. And there we go. Uh, let's get started with this uh, green Audi R8 Spider. This is a basic model from uh, Major Red 30 grams. Um, then we um, do have some models with moving parts like this Volkswagen Golf and with an opening hood, 47 grams, but it, I think it still has um, plastic tires, and a plastic base for sure. Uh, then we have this um, Porsche 917, oh, 36 grams. This one uh, feels a little bit heavier than it is in reality. It's an opening part. Then uh, we do have this Porsche here, which is from, uh, I think it's uh, kind of a premium model from Major Red. It has a plastic base, but it comes with um, rubber tires, opening parts, and some more details. 35 grams. And then I think this is the heaviest Major Red model that. I own. It's um, this Toyota Celica um, GT Coupe. Uh, this thing is really, really cool, by the way. And it was pretty cheap. I think it, it cost five euros. And it has, as you can see, it has a metal base, has suspension, opening parts. And this thing feels um, really, really good. Kind of heavy. So let's see. 59 grams. Heaviest matchbox model. Uh, then I I do not own too many Seiko models, but um, when we are doing this, we are also putting these on the scale. So let's get started with um, this uh, Volkswagen Police bus. 52 grams. We have another police model um, 911. This is also very cool. Comes with opening and doors. This one's a beauty, by the way. 43 grams. And these Seiko models always, unfortunately, do have um, really ugly wheels. The rest is pretty good. A similar 911, 43 grams. And uh, yeah, then we do have this um, Carrera GT. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Carrera GT, but this thing is um, not the best in my opinion they ever did. Um, this huge Porsche badge here on the hood is um, looking <laughs> not really, really good. So let's see. Um, also 43 grams. And our last Seiko model is this thing here. Oh, and as you can see, this is pretty heavy. 140 grams. So let's see. The trailer has 73 grams. This thing here, 68. So now 
What else do we got? Um, let's take a look at some uh, green light models, I would say. Let's uh, start with uh, Bronco, I think. Um, it's uh, from a Hitch and Toe series. I do not collect uh, green light models anymore because of their quality. I had some really bad issues. Um, it was quite a, quite a while ago. I think in the meantime, I've heard they've gotten better. But um, anyways, I don't buy them anymore. So this thing has a metal body and a metal base and weighs 50 grams. Um, then we got um, this beautiful model. It's the Trans Am from, um, from a Rocky set. Also very, very cool. Also metal body, metal base and uh, rubber tires weighs 55 grams we got this chevy um tahoe um, i think it's from a series called black black bandit and yeah this feels heavy and it is heavy 73 grams a chevy silverado in shell deco oh this one's really heavy 91 grams this one's also from uh Kitchen tool uh, set, I think. Jeep Cherokee, 40 grams. Uh, this uh, Dodge van here, 54 grams. And uh, our last uh, Greenland model. Or let's say our last uh, Greenland regular model is this um, Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. Also feels really good. Let's get that open. Uh, hatch. 65 grams. So now we still got some uh, stuff uh, left, as you can see. And I would say let's compare um, some monster trucks. Let's get started with uh, one from Hot Wheels. This is uh, the Land Rover Defender and weighs 109 grams. Then we got a monster truck um, from Majorette, uh, it's a Ford Bronco, 90 grams. And we do have a real beauty from a green light. Uh, this is, uh, by the way, what is this? Uh, 1970 Chevy K10, 106 grams. So um, it's kind of interesting. It seems like the heaviest is the Hot Wheels uh, model. Um, and this thing, I think it doesn't have a metal base, by the way, but these um, massive tires, I think. Way a lot. We got another um, Greenland monster truck here, the 1979 Ford F250. It's a little bit lighter, 95 grams. So now we got, <coughs> I'm sorry, some transporters left. And yeah, let's see if um, our heaviest diecast model for today is one of these transporters. So let's start with this one here, the Arrow Lift. Oh, camera down again. This one's pretty light, uh, 73 grams. I think it's even lighter than this guy here. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Then um, we got this one, I think it's a Sakura Sprinter. 102 grams. Then we got the Fleet Flyer, 107 grams. And then we got two models. I think they are heavier for sure. Um, this one's a pretty new. Um, it's called, uh, or it's just a modern uh, tractor here on the base. And as you can see, 160 grams. 
I think it's the first uh, team transport transporter where you can uh, detach the trailer. The trailer itself is 81 grams. And this thing, 78 grams. And now, our final model is this guy here. It's called the Euro Hauler. And hope you are all excited. 172 grams. So this thing is our heaviest Stikers model. At least um, from the models I got here on my desk. And I think the lightest one, which is kind of interesting, was a mini GT model. This one here with 17 grams. So yeah, um, there you have it. Um, <laughs> um, I hope you found this interesting. If you did like this video, then subscribe this channel and give me a thumbs up. I say thank you for watching. Happy hunting and see you next time. Bye.